What's up YouTube, Daniel Carter at Afro Heart Peeper here uh, at actually my first uh, reptile event of the year. This is a local event, um, not the Oktoberfest, but it's dubbed Oktoberfest. Uh, I'm here with Kosho along with another assortment of reptiles and a few invertebrates. Seeing as this is my first event of the year, uh, I figured I would record a video and go through the process of setting up a reptile table at an event. This isn't a particularly scientific event and it's very kid friendly, so I've brought all the biggest and most exciting animals to this one. Uh, over here we've got the Russian tortoise, uh, we've got Scylla, the hog island boa, Kosho, the blood python. Uh, she's just huddled up in the corner, she's a little upset. It's a little chilly, it's about 60 degrees, but it should be warming up to around 84 later today. Uh, we've got Blue, the Tegu, back in there. He will be coming out intermittently, but uh, he's very flighty, so I'm not taking any chances with him. We've got Skink in here, uh, and over here we've just got a few Madagascar hissing cockroaches. Uh, for the creepy factor, but also my overall goal with any uh, educational event is obviously education. Uh, when I'm at events like these, especially with the snakes, my goal is ultimately to help people get over their fears and to lessen the stigma uh, that reptiles, amphibians, and invertebrates hold. I did mention that this is a kid-friendly event, so over here, uh, sort of a kid's corner, not really, uh, I've got a few stuffed snakes, I've got a book, um, not sponsored by uh, the Dr. Seuss, Cat in the Hat knows a lot about that series, but there it is. Over here I've got free coloring sheets. Uh, these are from a place called supercoloring.com. Uh, weirdly enough they have a lot of really realistic reptile and amphibian coloring sheets. So I just let people take these. Uh, they can bring them home and think about uh, all the stuff that they saw. So it's a plus. And you're just upset. You need a sweater. I can't see but I can like feel her around the back of my neck. Like, Never thought I'd see. Here we go. We have a bunch of people. Seven. Uh, he moves kind of like a snake, but he actually has those legs so he can help push himself along. He's kind of like a lizard and a snake combined. Uh, this animal is completely harmless. There's nothing he can really do to uh, bite or attack predators. So what he's actually going to do is he's going to take that bright blue tongue and he's going to open his mouth as wide as it can go. He's going to stick that tongue out all the way. Ron is coming out the tank. Where's Nadine? Nadine, it's your turn. Signing up. She's, she signed the release. Uh, he gets a mixture of ground turkey, raw eggs, and berries every few days. He does, yeah. Hi, folks. The blue tongue snake. Oh, See your tongue there? Marlin, with a tortoise. His name is Bert. They're not the same kind of cockroaches you're gonna find in your kitchen. Uh, they're from the rainforest, so they're not going to carry any diseases. Rainforest? Travis, yeah. Put it in here. He's got it. Feeling that Oktoberfest spirit. Yeah, go ahead. A bit more? He's harmless, right? Yes, everything at the table is harmless. Oh, he's going for the uh, These lizards are actually native to South America, uh, but I caught this one in the Florida Everglades. Battle scars. So, when you're holding a snake, you want to put one hand at the base of the tail and one hand about a third of the way down the body. And just support her. She starts wrapping around you. She's just trying to hold on to it. There's nothing to it, really. Uh, you want to put one hand about a third of the way down the body and another hand around her tail. You're holding a snake. How does it feel? It's pretty cool. Yeah, go ahead. She does. She's pretty cool. 
As long as you don't grab on, that's just fine.